Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today we're going to cover that cool gel. Since we've kind of been doing some brazing today, you know, one of the things that we have to make sure we do is uh, mitigate that heat transfer. You know, you don't want to reach down and grab a hot pipe or you may have a, a TXV or something and you're brazing really close to it. You don't want to, you know, destroy the mechanical workings of that particular um, component. You know, a substance like cool gel with the aid of some other things at times can be very useful and, and making sure you don't get parts too hot and melt, melt stuff, right? So um, this is a bottle here in the lab. You can tell it's been used, um, but it's still effective. The contents are really good, even though the bottle may, may not be as, as pretty. Um, over here, we've got our meter set up, um, and you can see that right now it's taking a, a, a temperature reading of the pipe that we have with our temperature clamps on them. So each meter is set at a different clamp. One's reading 70.8. What's that? 70.6, 72.6, and the other one's reading 72.2. So you can see that they're relatively close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our cool gel right here in the middle of our pipe in between the two temperature sensors. We'll apply heat on one side, and you know, copper being such a good conductor, that heat will travel up that pipe. And then one sensor should read really, really hot, and the other temperature, the other sensor should read not so hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right here so I can put that in. It's kind of messy and I don't want to leave a mess in, in the lab area. So I'm going to put it right here, make sure it's nice and neat for us, hook our sensors back up and then we'll take those readings. Now we've got our, our gel on, we'll put our clamps back on. Grab a torch and we're going to put some heat here. Now it, it'll get hot really, really quick. So we'll just watch our two screens on our meters and see how that moves. So now Let's see, make sure we got our cords right. So the, the meter on the far left is gonna read the temperature before the gel. The meter on the right is gonna read the temperature after the gel. So we'll, we'll apply a little heat to that and see if that meter starts to climb a little bit. Oh, there it is. So we've already moved up to 100 just that quick. And that other meter just stay right where it was at. What we'll do is we'll pull it down even closer to the gel and then put the other one just a little bit closer and see if, let's see if we can get that. That thing is hot already, but you can tell the difference in the numbers. So we don't want to go too far because our meters only read temperature up to a certain degree. So. We'll just kind of hold right there. And we'll notice that you can see that heat transfer because we went all the way from 70, uh, se I think it was 71 or, or so where we started and we're up to 88 degrees. So there is some, but it's not nearly as great as it is on the other side. So that's a quick little test that you can do for your cool gel. Use that in your brazing applications to kind of help protect those parts and components that you don't want to get messed up, your THVs and you know, dryers and, and uh, different things that you'll put on our systems. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Toolbox Tuesday.